hi friends good evening how are you again today today is another day again we want to make something special my day is already gone but anyways i'm going to make sure that we finish this food i try my best to get everything ready for you so that we don't like you know try washing everything and it's going to like kind of take a lot of time because some people don't really like taking too much of time when it comes to food they just want the food to be ready and eat their food and today is also a happy day happy valentine to every one of you god bless you richly in jesus name i got paid love to you i love you in jesus loves you more than i do so i'm going to show you some of the things i'm going to be using for my food everything i believe should be ready so let's look at the food let's see what we have here so this is what we have in our kitchen this is what we are about to cook and i also have my drink ready I have my drink ready this drink was actually filled up but my daughter <laughs> drank it up to this stage anyways let's pardon her let's forgive her <laughs> Today is lovers month, so today is lovers day, so let's just let it slide. So I have all my ingredients. And the most important thing here is the ogbono. This is the ogbono we're going to be using. This is our ogbono we're going to be using. I have stock fish, I have dry fish, crayfish we're going to be using. So let's start cooking the meat. This is our meat. We want to make sure that the meat is well cooked and well seasoned. So let's start. If this is your first time following me, please, I will encourage you to please thumbs up. Thumbs up, comments down below and tell me what we are doing and how best we can assist you, how best we can assist each other. Comment down below, tell me the things that you think we are not doing well or that we need to do so for now i'm going to be pouring everything together into the pot this meat actually i'm going to be using it for my stew i've already started the stew already i'm going to be using it for my stew i will use some for my stew then also use some for the for the organo soup i'm going to cook my pepper is all up, all right, it's ready. This is my pepper I'm gonna pour. So I've already added some ingredients to the pepper. So let's pour, oh no. This pepper, let me see. I'm gonna be using some seasoning, put some seasoning into the, into the meat. That pepper actually is going to the, Pepper is going into the ogono soup. And we're going to be dicing some onion, which I forgot to dice. So let's go to the sink side and dice some. So I have about three to four things to do this evening I have about three or four things to do this evening I'm going to be making some a bar and then uh, pan and yam with this obono soup I'm making the obono and the sorry I'm making the pan and yam and the eba because there are some people that don't like eating eba so whichever one you like you can choose what you want to eat then I'm also making stew because, of course, it's not everybody that likes using an ogbono to eat rice. It's not everybody that likes using ogbono to eat rice. So I'm just making a stew by the side so that in case you want to eat rice or you want to eat yam or you want to eat something else, you have your stew, you know. Okay. 
then the fire is too high for the pepper. I've added the ingredient that I the ingredient that I need. If it's not enough, then I'm gonna add more. But I'm gonna let the pepper cook. So once the water is boiled, the fire the water is already on the fire. So I'm just doing everything at the same time, you know. Once the water is boiled, we're going to make the eba, then we're going to make the pamea. Just get everything out of the way today. We don't have the time for all the protocols and the procedures. So let's get some onion. We're going to dice it into the, into the meat. The meat is already on the fire cooking. Give and take at least within one hour to two hours. Within one and a half hour, we should be done. Normally, I don't really like over staining my meat, so. show you my pounded yam flour this is the pounded yam flour I'm gonna be using for the pounded yam and um, this is the gari we're gonna be using for power ever like I told you before in my previous videos if you go to my previous videos we use gari to do several things so make something like fufu or you can just drink gari by itself you can um hit gari with beans you know just google and find out what can i use gari to do what can i use gari to heat you can just drink gari with maybe granite and hard um sugar or salt and hard some milk or water is good the different kind of things you can use this gary to do. So let's get going by slicing our onion. I'm gonna wash my hands. I'm gonna be slicing this a little bit small. I wish I blended the, the uh, what's it called? I wish I blended the onion, so I would just like kind of pour it into the into the uh, into the meat so that it, it can just marinate, you know, faster than just slicing the onion. But anyways, we can still dice it and put it inside because some people don't like saying the the onion they don't like heating onion so another best way to help your family to eat onion is by blending the onion so that they don't get to see the onion but they can still you know eat the onion even unknown to them especially our kids you know there are some things that they just see in the food and they're like ah, mommy i can't eat this and <laughs> your food can just be with you or they can just pick it out and trash it because we don't want that to happen 
we have to, you know, learn how to figure out some avenues to, to make our kids to eat, you know, some of these foods that they don't like to eat. Knowing that these foods are good for them, these foods are healthy for them, we see how we can, you know, help them to eat this food. So now we're going to take this to the to the gas cooker. Oh, it's inside. Obono doesn't really need much. Obono doesn't really need much um, much seasoning. I'm going to be using a wooden spoon because this meat is tough. I have to mix everything together. My stew is already boiling. I'm going to lower the fire a little bit. But when it doesn't need much seasoning, I'm going to be having some pepper to eat. called cloves. Ginger powder. Like I told you, this means it's going to be split and it's too. We're going to use some for the stew. I wish I had the time to bake them, but I don't have the time right now. The seasoning is really good. I don't have to like overcook it. I have a big chunk of bone meat here. I'm not able to cut it because the, I don't have the, the right knife to cut the, the bone. Well, anyways, I believe that's going to be the last meat ever anybody's going to eat in this house. Tells me it's not stew, it's called soup. 
because I'm a Nigerian, anything like this is called stew in my place, but normally it's supposed to be called soup. Having some jollof fry seasoning to the stew. At least to give me some nice flavor. To give me some jollof fry uh, flavor. Add some of this spice to the stew. You're gonna see my stew very soon. I'm gonna add some brown soy to it. Everything just flash and everywhere so the fire is to the lowest but yet it's still splashing. Favorite has sent. I don't know if I need it, but let me check. the meat. Let's look at our meat. The inside of the meat is cooking and the soup is also busy. This gas cooker is very powerful. The soup is busy and the meat is doing its own business. Then the water is also getting ready. In fact, the water is ready. I'm just the one delaying the water. The water is fully ready to be made. You need to make it by now, right away. No time wasting. I'm not wasting any time. Let's tear this slow. Because if you don't make it by now, the water is going to get dry. But quickly out of the way.
I like to use the same place to make my bun. So you can see, I'm just like kind of multitasking myself, doing everything at the same time. Doing everything at the same time. Make sure your water is very hot for this eba. The water is very hot. And if it's not very hot, there's another strategy to also use to make this eba. You can make it, then put it in a microwave for it to cook, or you can put it on the fire. Take it to the fire, that means that you have to put it in a pot. Take it to the fire for the fire to cook it. If you take it to the fire, then that means that it's going to be drawing for you. Yeah, but it's going to draw. That means it's going to bring out the spash. The strength of the spash is going to come out of the other. So because it's mine, I don't have to make too much. This eba is for lovers of eba. Those that like eba in my house. Some people like letting it sit down for a while. You don't have time for those business. So let's get going. Gonna be using one of my best turning stick to make this eba. So this is how we make eba. I will show you the eba right away when I'm done. Let's come closer so you can see me. Now, if this eba is not well cooked. Because I'm using a good plate for microwave, I can put it inside the microwave for it to cook to my desired, to my desired uh, taste. So this is the way we make a bar. Nigerians make a bar. Keep staring and staring, you use your strength, you use all your strength. Use all your strength. Keep turning and turning. And if you feel that the water is not enough, it's getting too strong. Some people like eating there but very strong. For me, I don't like it that too strong. Some people want there but to be so 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 strong and so hard. I don't know how you can, you know, go to the bathroom eating, you know, ever that is so strong. I don't know how you do it, but some people they are good at this, they can they can do it. So if you are married to somebody that like eating ever very strong, then you have to do it to their taste. You have to do it to the way they like it. You know what I mean? Or maybe your children. If they like it very strong, if they like it very soft, you have to give it to the way they like it, not the way you want it. You can split it into, into two or tell them, you know what, this is how we will do it. So that everybody can, you know, together enjoy the food. Anyway, happy Valentine again to you and um, God bless you richly. Let's share together. Happy Valentine to you. <laughs> God bless you. Enjoy with me. I'm going to have a little water. Because I kind of feel this too. It's a little bit too strong for me. Because so sometimes there are some garis that when you make them, when you make them temper, and you leave them to sit for a while, or maybe for, yeah, for a while, it's going to get strong by itself. 
to make it in such a way that you will eat, your husband will eat, your children will eat, your family members will eat without, you know, and complaining. So keep staring and staring. And so this is the way we make high bar and the bar is, is ready. It's ready. I'm going to clean it up. I'm going to clean this paper. Probably put it in the microwave. And so that can even make it to stay for like maybe one or two days. So let's put it in the microwave for you to cook. For you to cook a little bit. And the next one is going to be our family. We're going to quickly make out of the way. I'm just washing my food because I'll be going to work soon. No time to waste. All work and no play me drag and drop off. Let's put it in the microwave now. It's time to cross. I'm going to put it in this microwave. This other microwave so that it can just be cooking for me. So I'm going to take you show you. Always cover your food. Always cover your food. So I'm going to leave it to cook for a while. I'm pressing four. So the next thing to do now, my friends, would be to make the error. Sorry, the, the panda yam. I'm going to be using this pot for the panda yam. Some people can do their, some people can make their panda yam in plates, then probably put it in the microwave for you to cook. But I'm going to use them. I'm going to use pot, let the water boil, then pour the, uh, the yam flour into the pot and start stirring gradually and allow it to cook. So that's what we're going to do. Well, I don't know if the space is going to be enough. So probably I might just wait. Let's see. My camera is just going back and forth because I'm the cook, I'm the cameraman. <laughs> I'm gonna take this Gary back. I don't need it anymore, so I'm gonna take this back. Put it back to where you want. Let's see the meat. It's 
soup is also cooking so and so this is the way I think I would like my kitchen to be the camera to be so that I can have a full view of everything you know a full view of everything so pray with me and you know tell me what are the necessary things I need to do you know so that you can have a full view you can see you know everything we're making in the kitchen so now we're gonna get to know if you have got a good uh, stew because the oil is out the oil is coming out I didn't have much oil to eat just little this stew actually was cooked by my daughter I just want to like add some pepper to eat add some ingredients to eat and some meat to eat so that we can you know have it for a longer period you know that's why I'm recooking it. I didn't really show you how it all started. So we're going to be having some meat to eat now. Just have the meat to stew. I'm going to be having some of my dry, um, dried cow back meat. I would have added it into the meat, but because it sucks, so we're going to have everything together now. My dry fish will be going into the soup. Then I'm going to blend my fresh, sorry, my dried uh, little crayfish. My dry stock fish, I'm going to be adding it into the soup too. I'm going to be adding some water to it. Let's have some water to the soup. So friends, we've already started cooking our gono soup. That is the way to cook a gono soup. We've already started cooking it. So 
So you're gonna add your desired water to it. Let's add our desired water. No one you check the the main ingredient you want to use for your soup. The main ingredient is actually called ogono. So you have to check the ogono. And the ogono and the water has to go, you know, it has to be the same thing. Because the ogono needs to draw and it needs to come out well. It's not supposed to be too watery. So we have to prevent, we have to make sure that it doesn't get too watery. If it's too watery, you're not going to like it. We're going to add everything together. So I'm adding my crayfish now to this. Maybe crayfish would have come last but Whatever, I just want to get everything done out of the way. And then, I'm going to add my pepper to eat. My pepper, I had some uh, seasoning already into the pepper. So I'm going to add it to eat. Then increase the fire a little bit while this is cooking. I don't think we need more water, not for now, until we make sure that the ogono is thick enough. Until we make sure that the ogono is thick enough. If the ogono is too thick, then we can add more water to it. I have my fish. This is going to be the last one to have because that fish is actually salt. So the fish can cook anytime. Now I have everything, almost everything inside my soup. I can decide to change this to pepper soup. You know, I can decide to change this uh, this particular soup to pepper soup. I can decide to change this. That's the beauty of African food, you know. I can decide to change this this soup to pepper soup, to egusi soup, just like the way it is. It has all the seasoning that you need. It has all the meat, you know, all kind of stuff that you need inside your soup. So I can decide to make this okra, uh, just vegetable soup, you know what I mean? It's palm oil. But right now, we're just going to be adding our agbono to it. And you can also decide to make it agbono and okra. Or you can also decide to make it agbono, okra, egusi. You know, everything all combined together. I think we will call that one farmhouse. Everything in the farm is here. <laughs> you know, we have foods like that. I remember when I was back in Africa, there was this particular food, you know, they like making for the diabetes. And maybe we are going to cook it one day. On rye plantain, uh, beans, beans is really good for diabetes patients. Beans, vegetables, uh, fish, meat, you know, cook them together. Yam, see, yam, cook all these things together and it's really good and you can have your desired fry or desired chicken or meat whatever you want to use to eat the farmhouse so that is called farmhouse and you know these elderly people they like that particular food whenever that food was cooked oh my god i think i made a mistake here the pepper i was supposed to use for my stew i used it for my I use it for my ogono. So let's test how the ogono looks like. No matter what ogono, you are not supposed to use too much pepper. You are not supposed to use too much pepper. Pepper is not enough. I'm going to add some pepper to this ogono. And add the remaining one into the... into the... into the stew. So let's mix it together and add some. Because that pepper was actually just warm. Let's 
We're going to just allow this to cook for a while. Let it steam. Let it steam. We're going to have some Maggi. Okay, I think I had it Maggi, but I'm just going to get had just flavor to eat to give my to give my desired flavor that I want. Don't have too much seasoning to eat. Because if it's too much, you won't be able to eat it. Like I told you these days, I'm avoiding salt. You know, most of this seasoning has salt inside, so for my soups, I don't really like using salt anymore into my food. Except probably I'm making them rice making a um, cooking yam, plantain, or some other things I can add salt, whatever I'm doing. But for soup, I'm being careful. I'm gonna let this cook. Let it cook. Let it cook. We're gonna have the pepper into this into the stew. I'm sorry it's coming at this time. I have some apples here I'm eating, so please join me. Some popcorn. At least for once, celebrate yourself. Celebrate yourself and love yourself. Love yourself. Be happy with yourself. Because God loves you. More than any other thing, He loves you. We're gonna blend the crayfish now. So we're gonna blend them together. We'll have the crayfish together and blend them together. I'm glad my airbags out of the way. Let's check the airbag. I forgot. Yeah, 
yeah, this is about it's ready. It's ready and it's very hot. This empire is ready. Can you see my bar? <coughs> Excuse me. It's well cooked now. Well cooked. Well cooked. So this is what I'm going to do to my bar. I remember when we are so when we are small, we make a bar. We have a way of making it. See, it's already well cooked, and I can feel the starch in the bar. I can see the starch coming out of the bar. I wish you can see it very well. See. a thankful heart. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you because you are both clan and shield, Lord. We say glory be to your name in the highest. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. We worship you, Lord. Thank you, King of Kings. Receive my praise, O oh Lord. Receive my thanks, O oh Lord. Blessings and honor I give unto you. Receive our praise, O oh Lord. Receive our thanks, Lord. Receive our thanks, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. Receive our thanks, O oh Lord. Blessing and glory, honor and praise we give unto you. Receive our thanks, O oh Lord. Oh, receive our thanks, receive our thanks, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. Give our praise, O oh Lord. Today, blessings and honor we bring on to you, God. Receive our praise, O oh Lord. Oh, receive our praise. Receive our thanks, O oh Lord. Oh, hallelujah. 
ready now. Let's go to our pots. I have to lower the fire. This is too much. The heat is just too much. I have to lower the fire. Okay, this is good. This is good. I'm using 
using this big long spoon because of the meat. This is good now. Let's check our stew. Stew is also cooking. We don't want it to get burned, so we have to stay it. I'm going to be adding some of this meat and the stock into the into the meat, into the stew, pardon me. Let's have a little bit of it into it. We've not added a, we've not added the oven, so it's still safe. And still use the water a little bit, like I told you. So we are making a mass production right now, cooking four things at the same time. Imagine. All things at the same time. We just made a bar out of the way. And we're gonna make pandayam too. The soup should be the stew should be ready now so that the pandayam pots can come on board. Now we can add our fish. This is our fish. We're adding our fish to it. I'm sure you wish you were here so you can join me to eat this food. This is good. Crayfish is inside already. We don't have any water for now. We pray that this Obama is good. Because I was asking the guy I bought it from that I hope this Obama is good. A good obono draws and a good obono doesn't smell. So I pray it will draw well for me. This is good. 
I'm going to take this away from here for now so that I can get the Obono going. Obono has a way of, there's a way I, you know, I had my Obono to my soup. While this is already cooking, the stalks are already cooking, we're going to cook the Obono itself separate in another course with palm oil. I'm going to take this guy from this place because it's okay. We can still cook it some other time. This should be ready. Still is ready. is ready to go. And so I'm going to put the fry pan on the pot to get the oven ready. Fry pan, a little pinch of uh, Palm oil. I actually thought I had palm oil in the house. I didn't know I didn't have palm oil. This is like almost the last palm oil I have in the house. Almost the last palm oil. So we need to buy some palm oil. Now I'm going to add the ogono to heat. Those that want to heat ogono, those that want to know how to cook ogono, this is how we do it. You know, you can pour it directly into the soup, but I like pouring it in here, especially if the ogono is from the freezer or maybe the ogono is like kind of having molecules. So the palm oil helps the ogono to like kind of tend to powder form, it makes it, you know, bring it to powder form, it fries it to powder form. So I'm going to fry it, you know. This will be enough, and I pray this ogono is good. Because if it's not good, then it's going to spoil the soup. One of the fastest way I think to test ogono, so that you don't spoil your soup. It's by boiling hot water. Let's get some hot water into the oven. If the oven comes out well, it foams out well, then you know that you have a good oven. But if you don't have a good oven, there's no, there's no need, there's no use for you putting it into the soup. Because you're just going to mess up, you know, what you have started cooking. There's no need. So, this is what we are going to do. We are going to blend. We are going to boil some water. This is a testing for us. We boil some water. Set the oven aside. Let's do that. Take this oven off and boil some water. Because I don't want to 
waste my ingredients. I don't want to spoil my soup. For me, you know, to spoil my soup that I've already started, I can decide to change this soup, you know, like I told you. I can decide to change it to opera soup. I can decide to change it to vegetable soup. I can decide to change it to uh, egusi soup, you know, to afran soup, you know. So whatever soup you want, like the African soup, I can decide to just change the stock because I have everything all set in the spot. And so if this ogono is not good, then it's all done. You can't use this ogono. So our test is that we're going to boil some hot water. Make sure the hot water is very hot. Then we pour it into this ogono. Can you see my ogono? We pour it into this ogono and stir it and see if it's going to come out well. If it does come out well, then we are good to go. But if it doesn't come out well, I would say we're just going to use egusi for this because I have egusi at home. I can also use it, you know, put some, um, what do you call, palm nuts. Add some palm nuts. The stock is ready. The stock is just, is just ready for anything ready for pepper soup ready for anything so why will i waste this stock if the ogbono is not good why will i waste it guys why will i waste it oh jesus sorry i almost fell on the camera Are you all ready? 
I am a winner. The water is coming out the way we want it to come. It's boiling already. So we're going to test this oven up to see if this guy is not lying to us. You know what I mean? If this oven is not deceiving us. Because a lot of times uh, you know, bought a bonnet that you know that has been blended. Most of the time, they hand some other stuff into the bonnet, and by the time you put it into your soup, let's reduce this fire. By the time you add it into your soup, you find out that the bonnet is not good. It spoils everything. But today, we want to try and see if this guy is honest. This bonnet is honest. So the water is boiled now. I pray this bonnet is good. It's not good. It's no gold area. We trash it. I don't care how much I bought it. It's going to be trashed. I don't care how much we bought it. We're going to trash it. Because we can't waste this stuff. You know? Look at our stuff. Isn't that beautiful? We have a beautiful stuff here. We can use this stuff to cook anything we want to use it to cook. Anything, I repeat. Anything. We have everything inside here. And so, why wasting? Money. You're not ready to waste money right now. We're trying to save money. So let's pour the hot water inside your bonnet. I'm pouring the hot water inside your bonnet. And this will tell me if it's good. I just I just pray it's good. I pray so. is good because if it's not good you are going to the trash and when I was buying it the guy was telling me it's good it's good in fact they used it so let's see because sometimes they want you to buy their products they want you to just buy their product they don't care they just want you to buy their products so let's test if this one is a good guy. Let's lower this fire a little bit. The way it's going around, I think it's good. The way it's drawing, I think it's good. I think it's good. I think it's good. It's drawing real good now. I think it's good. I think so. I think so. It's good. Can you see the Ogbono? We have to try it. We have to try it. I think so. It's good. It's not bad. It's drawing. So I'm going to add it into my soup now. Let's see how it's going to come out in my soup. I wish you can see it. Pray for me to get a better stand, a better camera, so we can enjoy it together. If you have a better camera, hey, you can also help me too. This is Lava's Moms, you know, if you love me, you're going to help me, assist me. Hey, Caroline, you know what, I think I can help you somehow. I've been watching you, I've been following you on your YouTube, I think I can, you know, be of help to you and see how you can promote yourself. So if you can help me, please, I desire your love. I pray for your love. So let's take this off, let's pull this off and pour it into power. Pour it into power. Our soup. The oven already came out well. You see, I like this pot. I like this fry pan. You see, it came out really good. And I think my pot is too small. African man will see this pot and just shall commend it. Tell you. I need to cook like this. This pot I just recommend and I like making my soup more so that I can put it in the freezer. 
like using you know some of these big pots. I wish this pots they had the bigger version. Please, if you are watching me, if you are one of those that make pot like this, please try and make a bigger one like this. This is big, bro. If you can help us with a bigger version, we will be grateful. I know I'm grateful. I just feel I need something bigger. Like I just put it in the freezer. At the same time, take care of yourself, save. When it's cooking, the water is boiling for the pounded yam. So we can see that the gari and the pounded yam will boil water, hot water. You can decide to just soak it in water and put it in the microwave if you want to. This is my microwave. If you want to, you can decide to do that. But I like boiling my water and making it from the fire so that I have a good stir, I have a good cook. You know what I mean? Make sure that the pandanian will come out real good. Mm -mm. Thank you. 
Rice coming out good. It's cooking. I would have got some bitter leaf and some veg into it. Let's cover our soup a little bit so that it can cook round. You know, some people said when you cover your organo soup, your organo soup will not get dry again. But anyway, we're going to cover it a little bit so that the fire can go around the soup. It's okay. Normally I like having all my seasoning into my ogono from the beginning because sometimes because of the way the ogono looks like you don't want to add seasoning into your soup because it can just like kind of look like a chunk and you don't want it. But I just feel I need a little bit of seasoning. The water is getting ready for the pan bed yam. Yeah, this ogono is good. The guy is not lying. He wasn't lying. Okay. Let's add a little bit of my accent to it. is boiling already for my bitter leaf is really good I wish I think I have some bitter leaf in the house I'm going to search then probably later have something to eat if I don't have then I'm going to buy some later and I'm we're going to cook some later then you're going to see with vegetable but today we're just making it without um, any form of vegetable in so you're just making it no no forms of vegetable so the next time we're gonna see if we can incorporate some veg into the soup okay the pandayan water is ready now We will always use a strong, you know, spoon to make the pan de yam. So I'm pouring the yam into the water. I'll make everything. I think this water is too small. 
gonna have fire. The water is not enough, so. So I took off the fire so I can have my desired uh, mix. I'm so sorry. The way the camera is, you're just watching from afar. That's not fair. It's not too good. You're just watching from afar. See? Can you see the panda yam? I'm going to mix it very well. Have some little more water and allow it to cook. So that's going to be the last thing we're going to do. Then we're going to eat and we're going to call the day off. Adding some water to it. Now this pandayam is a little bit, is much a little bit, so I'm gonna put it in the bag and store them in the fridge. Add more water to it, it's too strong. So we're going to leave it to cook now with the water. Let the water cook it. This is going to cook on its own. It's cooking, the soup is also cooking.
You don't need to cook ogono for a longer period. So I believe the ogono should be either ready or almost ready to go. We have a good ogono here. Yeah? Some salt. Some salt for the ogono. It's good. It's also tea, so we're gonna have some more water to it. Let's get some more water. Probably we may need more water. So, a little more water to eat. Well, I should be okay now. Sometimes when it's too dry, when it's too thick, my family don't like it. So, just trying to make it in a way that everyone will enjoy it. If I'm making it for outsiders, then I want to make it uh, a little bit thicker. So they can decide to have more water if they want to so while they are warming it. Well, this is okay. Now I'm getting hungry, so hungry. Thank you Lord Jesus for this food we are making. Thank you Lord Jesus for the guys that are watching it. Bless them Lord Jesus. Provide Lord Jesus for their needs in the name of Jesus. Now we are ready to make 10 our how they are. Okay, so do we need more water? I'm so grateful to God because I have a good pot. But I have a good, as in a good, good, good pot. Tell me, this pot is not, it's not the one getting burnt. For me. Thank you, Lord Jesus. But I added some water to eat. I added some water to eat. So I'm mixing them, mixing it up with the water. Keep mixing. Mixing and mixing till you get your desired, your desired texture. 
so you get the desired texture you want. My sister, English is good. Though. Your desired texture. How do you want the pandayan to flow, to be in your mouth when you are eating it? Let's add some more water to cook. We're going to cover it up for it to cook. This water I added is going to cook the pandayan. I'm going to like break it so that the fire will get into every part of the pandayan. It's going to be steamed. So I'm going to cover it up for it to be steamed a little bit. I don't want it to get burnt. It's not going to get burnt because we have a good thoughts here. Our soup is coming up. It was really dancing real good, but because I added some water to it, so it's like kind of starting all over again from the base. Trying to get it some again. But I believe this soup is ready to go. This soup is ready to go. We are going to be eating very soon. Something is that's bombing here. So I didn't finish the the yam flour, so I'm gonna add it into the oh my live stream just my battery just died just now and uh, I was like really struggling for what to do but I'm so grateful to God that I'm back again. Thank you. There's nothing like patience and there's nothing like studying and get to know things you know for yourself. Anyway the while I was struggling to come back to life again <laughs> I'm not dead in Jesus' name. <laughs> While I'm struggling for the video to come back to life again, the Obono soup is ready. And the, uh, the yam pandol is also ready. So I'm going to start packing them and put them inside up, uh, you know, this, this lylon and save them in the fridge. Thank you so much for the patience. I'm so sorry. As a child of God, we keep saying I'm sorry every day. Somebody will be like, why do you always say I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry all the time? Why do you always say I'm sorry, I'm sorry all the time? Well... So... This is what I'm going to do. My yam pango, I'm going to be putting it inside the slider. Do I need to put it in a bowl? I'll just sprinkle some water into the bowl. Why is this water bringing out soup? Oh my god, it's already eight. Better be fast. I'm going to take all the spoons in this one. I actually didn't use much. Take them away. Take this away too. Form like this, and I'm going to scoop anything into this into the slide. This is the best I can do. Let me get that. I hope you can see it. I hope you can see, it, my friends. I hope you can see. It. So 
we came here, sprinkle some water to it, match it. And so this will be going into the freezer. going into the freezer sorry into the fridge I don't know if yam handles if you can do them and put them in the freezer I don't know but I have to check I'm going to be putting them in the fridge Well, I'm so grateful I'm back to life again. <laughs> Sorry, I let you. I have to go look at myself and the TV to see if the video is still going on. So the water will give me, I mean, it will, will mold it a little bit well for me. So, So this is one of the best ways to save yam candle at least for a little while. Normally I'm supposed to mold it inside a place and put it here, but like I said, I don't have a lot of time. I'm not a full-time YouTuber, so I still have to go to work. So I have to do whatever I want to do out of the way and get myself ready for work. Then I'm going to make some that we eat now. I made it already, but let's eat, um, let's eat, some of this.
because this is not going to be enough for me. So this is how we make it to keep molding it, add some water to it, to the side and mold it and make it, you know, beautiful. As a mother, when you make things like this, you have peace of mind. Your kids have something to eat. Your husband have something to eat. You can go to work, you know, without feeling bad that you didn't make anything for the family. Now, think about the cleaning later. We we'll eat now, then think about the cleaning. I'm gonna soak this ones. I'm gonna soak this pot. You can see my pot is really good. This pot is good. You can see my pot. So everything came out clean. Everything came out clean. This is a good pot. Everything came out just clean. Thank you, Jesus. I'm gonna soak it, then just use regular sponge to wash the pot. I don't have to use half sponge to wash it. Because if I use half sponge to wash it, I might spoil the pot. So I don't do half sponge on my on this kind of um, pots. So the stew, I can bring the stew back here. But later, later on, we're going to pack them and put them inside the bowl and put them in the freezer. Then it's going to save us some days. If you feel like eating rice, eating yam, or eating it with something, then you can do that. Then this one, if you feel like, you know, taking swallow, you can do swallow, you know, whichever you want. You know, you don't have to like, hey, mommy, I want to eat. Just go to the kitchen and get what you want. Have cooked, you know. I don't have to serve you all day long. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. But this time around, we're gonna dish some for the first time. I'm gonna be eating with you. How about that? We are going to be eating together. I'm gonna. Should I dish the the soup to the side? I don't like dishing. Uh, I don't like dishing my soup into my into my fufu so this is what I'm going to do I'll take it out so that you can you know have a see through so that you can see what I'm eating I like having my fufu and my soup separate some people like you know Having everything together, having the soup into the swallow, I don't, I don't really like doing that. And I don't want it to be too mushy, mushy, or is it mushy or mushy or whatever you know the English you call it. I don't like it. I don't want the, you know, the swallow to be soft. And so I like the soup to be separate from the. So let's get our desired soup. Awesome. A little bit of a little fish. I'm gonna get some meat. And 
That's what I'm going to. This is cow leg. Cow leg. Oh, I guess meat. I don't have to eat so much, you know. It's nice. Cow meat. I think this should be okay. I'm sorry, you are not watching me. So this is what I got. This is what I want to eat right now. This is what I want to eat right now with my fufu. So let's get going. Let's get going. Happy Valentine. Happy Lover's Month. So everyone watching me. And I love what's over you. I love blessing richly in Jesus' mighty name. And the Lord take care of you in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you for watching me. Thank you. This is what we made together. This is what we made together. I have to use a semi true uh, plate so that you can see what I'm eating. And I still have my drink by my side. I don't need my popcorn. Let me go set it up on the table. You get them ready to eat now, friends. Okay, let's go to the dining table and see if we can eat something. If you can watch me from here, I wish you're eating with me, you know. Can you see? Can you see me? Let's take this chair away from here. Yeah. Can you see me? Yeah, this is me. The girl is about to eat soon. <laughs> Normally before we eat, you know, we bless our food. Can you see me? Oh, you can see my face. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. Let's see. Can you, let's see if you can see my face. Ah, I wish you can see my face. You can see my face. Anyway, that's fine. We'll do something about that. Okay. Your girl is about to eat now. So what do we do before we eat? What do we do? We pray, we say, Lord, thank you for this food, and uh, we get going, because we're already hungry. So let's pray. This change of days, we thank you, Lord, for providing this food. We are so grateful. We are grateful, Lord. Thank you, Father. Bless this food. Sanctify this food. Provide, O oh Lord, for those that don't have, in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we reach far and near to everyone. Who desires to have something like this in Jesus' name? We give you all the glory because you are worthy to be praised. Sanctify my food, sanctify my hands. Let the food go to the right place that it needs to go. In Jesus' precious name I pray. Amen. In the spirit of prayer, Lord, don't take it away from me. Lord, give it to me, Lord. Increase me in strength. Increase me in wisdom. Increase my viewers in wisdom. Increase my viewers in knowledge. Increase my viewers in understanding. Favor my viewers, oh God. That man, that woman that is looking at me, Lord, bless their home, bless their marriage, even at such a time like this in Jesus' name. 
put joy in their homes. Whatsoever they are looking for, their heart desires, Lord, please give it to them in the name of Jesus. Is it children? Father, bless them bountifully in the name of Jesus. A male child, a girl child, Holy Spirit, please bless them. Bless that family, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Bless that household in the name of Jesus. Give them the desires of their hearts. Prosper them, O oh God. Make a definite change, O oh God, in their marriages and their homes. In the name of Jesus. As people are celebrating, O oh God, love, even at this period of the year. Lord, I pray that their homes, in the name of Jesus, will be filled with genuine love, pure love, from above, in Jesus' name. That the Father of grace will, will dwell in their homes, in their bedrooms, in the name of Jesus Christ. In their toilet, in their bathroom, in their living room, in the name of Jesus. Where the enemy is causing trouble, Father, scatter and destroy the energy of the enemy. And Lord, bring your joy and your peace into such homes in the name of Jesus. Families that are separated. Lord, Libra Shantalavale, Kamalawa Shantalavale. We are praying that God, you the matchmaker, Lava Shantalavale Kavale, you the best matchmaker, will make homes right in the name of Jesus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is on earth, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Lord, bless everyone this year. Bless everyone. Bless our homes in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father, because you first love us. You have shown us, O oh God, great love. And Lord, this evening we are returning back this love unto you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. We love you because you love us first. We don't even feel like eating right now. It is good to come to your presence. It's like a food. We will come to your presence. We are happy when we are in your presence. Give us the grace to forget about every other thing. Even the earthly food that we have made should not be that powerful, should not be that stronger than the relationship that we will have with you, God, in Jesus' mighty name. We will help you as a friend, oh God. We will forget about everything and focus on you. We love you, Lord. We say thank you. We say thank you. We say thank you for the privilege that you have given unto us. Father, do a new thing in our lives. Glorify your name. Exalt your name, O oh God. Father, thank you. Let your light shine into every darkness. And take away, Lord, all the stigmas of darkness away. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Meet somebody today in the name of Jesus. Under the bridge, on the streets, meet them today. Bless them today in the name of Jesus. Make yourself present. Make yourself known to them like you made yourself known to Paul. Ah, Father, like you made yourself known to Stephen. Yes, Stephen knew you, but yet, oh God, when he was going through trials, oh God, when he was going through pain, even at the point of death, you made yourself afresh and new to him again. And he saw your glory, Father. In the name of Jesus, I pray for anyone who needs to know your glory, who needs to see you, God. In the name of Jesus, has the watch me, oh God. It's not all about this food, oh God. Our focus, our attention, oh God, more, oh God, is to be acquainted with you, oh God. Because the Bible tells me that heavens and the heads will pass away, but your glory, oh God, your power will not pass away. You say you are building, oh God, a new home, Father. You are building a new heaven, a new kingdom, a new head for us, oh God. And so this food that we have made, oh God, Jehovah, we don't want to be attached more to it, oh God. We want to be attached more to you, Holy Spirit. Libra shanta la vale kabala wa shanta la vale. The Lord our flesh will die. Oh God, libra shanta la vale kabale. 
Our flesh, oh God, all our shanta lava libra shanta lava. Our flesh, oh God, will die, oh God. Our self, oh God, the desires of this world will die. The Lord, that it's only, it's only your desire that will stand in the name of Jesus Christ. Take all the glory forever. Bless this food and bless everyone who desires to have it. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you, dear friends, for watching me. I think you've seen something different about me. Normally before I eat, it's like there's a time where I, you know, normally like kind of fellowship with God. Some people will say, ah, you just say in Jesus' name, bless his food and get eating. But I guess in my own case, it's really not like that. I, whenever the food is ready, <laughs> I can just, you know, I would just pray and I'm gone and sometimes I forget that the food is even there when it's there. I just I prefer to enjoy, you know, the presence of God, you know, more than the food. But anyways, I'm so sorry. I know you've been waiting and you want to eat. Some of you have already started eating. I can imagine when you are living with some people, they will just look at you and they will just hiss and hire you and you just dig into the food and start eating and eating and eating and like, man, my sister, you're on your own. No. <laughs> well, anyways, thank you for waiting. So let's dig into the food and eat the same yummy food. Thank you, Jesus. This food is good. Enjoy with me. Hmm. This is good. This is good, friends. Please don't just watch me. Take your time to thumbs up. It's very easy to thumbs up. Subscribe. Press the subscription button. Follow us. And the Lord will enrich you. Bless you in Jesus' name. Follow us. Tell us new things that we need to do. Things that you feel that, hey, girl, you're not doing this right. That's okay. That's okay. We want correction. Remember a particular day I cooked something. I made something else. This individual um, uh, commented and said, so where are the things you cooked? You know the ingredients i'm not seeing the ingredients and, and i was like oh my god thank you so much thank you so much for coming around coming to my father's house because there are several stations that you would have channels that you would have gone to or several logs that you would have gone to but you chose today to you know like kind of come into my place to watch me live and direct I'm so grateful. I will make sure I do better than what I did. I'll text her back. And she texts me back again. I'm like, wow, this is good. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I can't even remember the food I cooked that day. But she was so serious. She was like, hey, Caroline, you just made something. How did you make it? I was like, oh, I think somebody cares about this. Somebody cares about me, you know? It's very important that people care about you. And you also care for people. Because this food is so yummy that I'm just eating and eating. Mm -hmm. Let's try this. In my place, we'll call this one Bomo. We'll call this Bomo. We're saying, how bad? It's called Bomo. Mm. This morning, I had little rice and spaghetti. And so, this is my second food I'm eating today. That's why I say the food is just going into the truth. 
I want to talk about this Ogbono soup is that it helps you to eat. It's a dry food. And so when you take it with the pan, the yam that is so soft like this. I hope your mouth is not getting too watery. It just goes into the straw straight. This kind of food, you know, if you throw up, <laughs> even if you don't like it, if you don't get choice, you go chop them. You know what I mean? I said, this kind of food, you don't have choice. This one is good. I wish you can see my face the way I'm eating this food. Mm. I love to cook meat and the uh, the pan and yam together. Mm. This is good. Let's take this the drink now. Share up. You know what I did to this drink? I added some cold water to it because I'm avoiding sugar. I'm avoiding sugar, so I added some cold water to the drink. First time you're watching me eating my food live and direct. is good now I don't even want to look at your face because I don't want to be ashamed you know you watching me and I'm eating my food and I believe we're eating together we have something, just sit down and peace and we watch them in desktop. What are the things you think we should do you know, next time? I just ate the stock fish. And it sucks. Yeah, for a long time, you know, I've not eaten something like this, so this is good. You know, I was scared I was going to miss my video. I was going to lose my video. Because while I was doing the video, the phone was almost there. But I thought I was still charging it. No wonder. The phone was already dead. And all of a sudden, the phone just went off. Oh, what's going on? I checked my studio and I couldn't find the video. I was like, no, not today. Not today. It's not easy to make a video. You know, making a video a day is like, it's like a job. Let me tell you, it's like a job. Being a YouTuber is like a job. YouTuber is even a job. For you to be a YouTuber, for you to be a vlogger, is like you, you are doing a job. You have to put things together, you know what I mean? Set up things together. You don't just come and say, oh, you know what, I want to do it too. No. So if you don't have the, the desire to be a YouTuber, you can't. I just took a bite of meat. And the pan yam is almost gone. I'm gonna play with this one. So I don't want my tummy to be too big.
Wow, this is good. Yeah. See? I'll finish everything. So it is good. Everything. Just even in the soup. Everything. Are we gonna we gonna finish the soup? No one I'm not even supposed to be talking because I'm eating. We don't want the food to go to the wrong place. You know what I mean? Hmm, this is good. Little of fish now. African people know the joke with that. We will swallow. We don't joke with our swallow. We love our swallow. Why don't you come and tell me that? Ah, you can't eat swan. I'm like, really? If I eat salad, I'm not going to feel I will not be filled up. I have salad in the house. But, swan is fine. Probably tomorrow I'll go diet so that we can make some salads together. You know what I mean? After eating swallow today, maybe we'll go diet tomorrow for six hours. Six hours diet. Hmm, I finished the soup. Oh. I finished the soup. My friends, your girl finished the soup. This is good. I'm sure some of you are watching me. Hmm. Can you be eating by yourself?
Let's take the drink. Remember, water is very good in the body, so this juice was actually more than this. My daughter came to the kitchen and she was like, Mommy, can you give me some? Can you give me some? I want to drink some. And I said, Okay, go ahead and take a little. And she took a little. Guys, by the time I turn my back, let me do my to you. My juice has gone down. You saw the juice, right? The juice has gone down. I'm like, What happened to the juice? So, I have to have some other things. I have to have some other things. It's not that I don't have the juice, but I think the water will be better. Because it's better to take natural water, you know? And with this swallow I ate, you need a lot of water. You need to drink water. Water is good. So I have to take some juice, take some water. Now let's feed the cow, the cow leg, excuse me. Mm. This is good. This is good. Good meat. And this time, any day, good meat. Don't tell me that this is not good for you. Hmm. Oh, you'll be saying, I know what this is how you eat. Well, I know you eat too. You like food too. There's nobody that doesn't like food. Everybody likes food. Except, except you're going to be so skinny. Mmm. It's really good. Feel up, guys. I'm filled up. I'm just good to go. I don't know why some I'm kind of happy because yeah, you're not saying me do I'm like kind of biting the teeth. Sorry, biting the the calmness.
Thank you for watching. God bless you. I'm feeling like my tummy is just big now. I don't need to take anything to work. We just need to take something like water or tea, that's all. Thank you. God bless you for watching. Thank you. I'm filled up now. Thank you for watching me. God bless you richly in Jesus' name. I love you. And Jesus loves you more than I do. <laughs> Thank you. You stay blessed. And pray for me to get a better camera. If you have the money, you can help me. Thank you.